well, I hear a skelly somewhere around, but I tell you, finding, finding spots where I'm not spoiling anything right now is actually a little difficult. Oh, moo yourself. Anyways, welcome back to what is now episode 8. That's not what I was planning, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, I am glad that you made it over here. And yeah, let's uh, jump into it. Oh, goodness. Let's jump into it pretty quick. Um, I'll be heading to the nether today along with some other fun things going on. So, without further ado, let's do it. All right, so I am going to head to the nether in just a moment, but first I wanted to add a little something to make my goals tangible. Yeah, I'm going to just make a little list on the wall here. So, we need to build a creeper. Yeah, we don't have to put an A. Build creeper farm. There's that. And we need to find desert What's that um farm spruce and let's see um farm shroom Oh gosh, <laughs> shroom lights. Okay, and I had something else. I had something else in my brain. That was a possible need, but I think that's a good start for now. Well, water doesn't do much. Actually, that's going in my valuables chest, let's be real. Um, water doesn't do much in the nether, apparently. <laughs> Imagine that. You know, I've... Are those pillagers? It sounds like pillagers, and it sounds like they're right outside. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, have fun with that, boys. A little nervous about those guys. Don't currently hear them. So, fingers crossed that we don't accidentally get ourselves into a major battle. Before we even get to the nether. Yep, they're hanging out right there by my portal. Oh, there's a sharpness three available. Well, we'll have to make sure we do that when we get back. Just so gonna go take a little look at our cave then. Well, we wait for those pillagers to go away, because th th that's just a huge no from me. Not right now. You know, I did realize that corner needs to be lit up a little bit, so we could go do that. And that should get us far enough away that the pillagers will despawn. I like that plan. You know, I think it's really awesome that I don't have to worry about mining iron anymore. That's exciting for me anyways. And we'll take a little run around and look-see for the uh, pillagers out there. I don't see them. There's a skelly though. Can I sneak up on him? Hiya! 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 Oh, there's two of you. Oh my goodness. I got you. <laughs> all right. Oh, I'm a little nervous all of a sudden. I don't like the nether. Oh, let's do it. Bye bye, little sheepy. Uh. 
They're not allowed in here. Do the zombie ones attack? I don't know. I don't know who attacks and who, like, leaves you alone. That's a baby zombie, though, so that, that can't be a good thing. I don't like any of this. Ugh. I always regret coming to the nether. <laughs> Where do I need to go, then? I feel like up there's not a bad idea. The piglins should leave me alone, right? Right? Excuse you! This is my little shelter! <sighs> Rude. Alright, well... Oh. And there are the, like, warthog boar things down there. That's... That's not ideal. Considering my best course of action. I don't know if that's Nicelium there. Hello, good sir. Like, I, I don't know how to identify what is and isn't Nicelium. And I don't think that's a helpful... Helpful thing for me. really want to go up into that area and see what it's like. Know, right now I'd rather go up than down, so... Is that... <gasps> Nylium. Nylium. Not Nicelium. But... I feel like if I get some Nylium... <gasps> oh, and the blue ones? Yeah. Oh. Crazy sounds. Oh, and let's grab while we're up here. This one's what is it called glowstone, I guess? Probably. I'm not gonna take all of it, but ooh, I do love this upper area. This is nice. I like this. Let's take the quartz while we're here. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. Is he up here? Yeah, he's over there. I'm gonna yeet my way out of here. That's a no, that's a no, that's a no. That's a no. Ah! Oh. What? I think I actually got what I needed. I'm such a scaredy cat. I do need soul sand, but honestly, I think I'm going to just build a portal at a different location. Because I don't feel like exploring too far. And it's daytime! Still. Hooray! Oh, I survived. I survived. <laughs> oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Oh, that's a creeper. That's a creeper. That's a creeper. That is not what I need right now. <sighs> I'm thinking. We actually make a little... Another farm in here. That's what I'm thinking. What's it called? The 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 nether dirt that things grow on. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it now. I imagine I could get it to spread. But like think of that corner right there. Still not well lit enough. Alright, he's dead. If I do that, and then we go there and there. Oh, hello, little bit. <gasps> no, that's the saddest thing ever. Or, or, I, you know, I doubt it will spread to dirt, but I imagine, oh, we're going to take a little, little trip. I betcha it'll spread to nether rack. And we can experiment with that a little bit. But see if maybe it does actually spread to dirt. 
I don't know. So. Alright. Let's see if it spreads to another rack. Alright. Moment of truth. <gasps> yes! Yes! But these guys. Oh. No, do these not... Well, that's sad. But now I guess the other question is, can I... Harvest this and get more seedlings? Or is that a no-go as well? Well, I suppose we're going to find out, aren't we? <laughs> what does one use this for? I don't even know. Alright, so I just went and did a quick little Google reconnaissance. Um, and apparently the fungus can only grow on this Nycelium that- er, it's not Nycelium, what is it? Nylium, Nylium, oh my gosh. Hmm. It can only grow on the Nylium that's the same color as it. And I'm definitely getting the vibes that <gasps> no, the Nylium's gone. Um. Um. How does that work? <gasps> no! Why does it disappear? Is it when I fall on it? Is that the issue? Do with nether warp. That is the thing to find out, isn't it? Alright, let's see if this makes a difference. Oh, yes it does. Always do your research, folks. Makes life much easier. Not that there is anything at all that can be done with these, which is incredibly annoying, to be honest. Purely decorative, apparently. The wiki is like, oh, well, you can make, you can, you can make, um, gosh, you can make your, uh, these blocks out of the nether wart plant things. Like, yeah, no, that's definitely what I want. <sighs> oh, well. Alright, so, if we do a stack, well, stack up there, and then, shoop. <gasps> no, he died. Well, that's not okay. Does it work now? I don't have a lot of snow, so... No! Why does he keep dying? <sighs> I thought I knew what I was doing, but apparently not. So, it turns out I'm not as terrible at it as I th thought. I thought I was suffocating him on accident. Um, but no. Golem, snow golems can't survive in savannas, apparently. So, that's good to know. However, I could probably put one in my squid farm area since that's a river bottom. Do we have any idea what time it is? No, just 
cloudy time. That's amazing then. Oh! I have beetroot seeds. I think we're just gonna make a little bitty beetroot patch right here. Not that beets are particularly useful except for trading, but hey, it's another crop. I am very slightly dumb. I also have potatoes. Ugh. Seriously. Hmm. I think we'll have a full on potato patch somewhere. <gasps> I love this piece of music. It makes me happy. Hmm. Oh, this looks like a good place for a potato patch. Let's go see if my spruce trees have dropped any saplings yet. Oh, <gasps> yes! I have enough. I can make a super spruce. Oh, that's exciting. Plus, there's some more, too. Yay. Oh, my goodness. There's so many. There's so many saplings. Yes. All right, well, we're gonna plant our first super spruce right there. And we have enough for two whole super spruces. So we'll put the other one kind of here-ish, I suppose. All right then. I'm going to head back over to my like farm area here. And one thing we're going to do is make a little lava farm because I have so much iron now. It's actually kind of insane how much iron I have. And so I can do something like make a cauldron without feeling absolutely like I've... Huh. Also, I haven't checked my kelp in a long time. Oh, nice. Let's actually... Grab some of that. I don't even know the recipe for cauldrons. Is it just something like that? <gasps> yes, it is. All right, we'll make two, even though I'm only going to have enough for one iron, or one lava farm right now. Maybe we'll put it in the edge of my squid farm somewhere. Along with, along with my little, little snow golem. Yeah, right in here somewhere would be lovely. And I should have some signs in here as well. Mm, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll go chop a tree in a bit. But first, let's break this pickaxe. Um... We in the river. Why can't I see it? Ah, there it is. Yes. All right. Fingers crossed. And shoop. <gasps> yes. And he can't leave. So then we just come in and we go shoop. Just like that. And hmm. We don't get much snow. There we go. That's perfect. <laughs> and we'll give him a little light over here because he deserves 
to be safe and protected. Don't we all? And I'm going to put our little lava farm right here. So, all right. So this is how this goes. We've got cauldrons. Uh, I'm gonna need to make it taller. Actually, wait. I'm gonna make one taller, and then also put the cauldrons down one. That will work, right? All right. So this is how a lava farm works. I'm going to that is definitely not how a lava farm works. <sighs> I put it up one. And that should block all of that off. One, three, four, right there. And I'm gonna just come up here. Oof, not that close. I'm gonna come back one. Just because I'm a little nervous about this every time. But we put a dripstone, 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 dripstone. I am dumb, aren't I? Then, lava. So it works best when there's a source of lava over the each dripstone. But do you see? Did you see that? Yeah. It drips down into the cauldron, so it's going to fill up eventually. It's going to fill that cauldron, and then we'll continue adding lava source blocks. Yeah, and that's how that works. Exciting, huh? Well, I think we've made some progress today. It was maybe a little bit more boring than uh, normal, but you know, except for that another trip, another trip was scary. But we've accomplished some things, and I think all of this will help us get on our way to my exciting building project. Um. Yeah, my next my next steps are really to find that uh, or to make a creeper farm, and find a good place to harvest sand, and gravel eventually too. Sand first, just for TNT. But yeah, it's going to be exciting. So, thank you for coming along for the ride. I hope you're impressed by my farm work. No, I know, it's nothing fancy. None, none of it looks nice. Though, this, 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 this little angle looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself. I do like how this looks. But yeah. I, oh, you can get all three in there. The lava, the, the, the squid farm, and, and that's, that, that, that snow golem. Yay. Okay. Well. I am so excited to continue. I admit that I am a little bit frustrated with how long it takes sometimes, but you know, it's all right. It's all gonna come together in the end. And besides, isn't isn't part of the whole process, the journey anyways. Like, it's so important. It's so important to be okay with that too. So, I will continue working here off camera a little bit but I'll see you guys in the next episode thanks for coming along and I will see you guys 